hello guys in this tutorial i'm going to present how you can use apm apmm software to evaluate inductance for this purpose i'm taking toroidal examples so dimensions are given here so the toroidal uh, with id 140 sorry it's od of 140 id 100 mm depth 20 mm and relative permeability of the iron material is 1000 and number of turns are also 1000 and this is the analytical formula if you use this formula you will get uh, inductance of 1.346 henry so this is the way we will model in afa so you have the copper then iron piece and again copper these coppers are representing inner conductors and respectively uh, outer conductor and uh, to create this geometry i will use a, a simple code here so this uh, first line is creating a node at minus 70 comma 0 second node is creating node at 70 0 and this is creating in semi arc similarly this one so let's copy paste copy it and Let's open the APM software. It's already there. Click on here. Output. Evaluate. So we will have circles. Now we have to define the material properties. So we'll use predefined materials, air, and conducting as a copper. Okay. then we have to define circuits circuits are two coils so let's add so we will put current of 1 ampere uh, to the inner winding similarly we put current of minus uh, 1 ampere to the outer sides let's define the boundary there is a boundary of flux parallel so it's a uh, outer side so we have defined the boundary as well and now let's click this is uh, air this is copper this is iron this is again copper and air select air part go to operations of and air now select copper part operation copper oh so you can go here again so this is the inner so we will get circuit 1 and number of turns are thousands similarly uh, go here select it go to operations copper circuit 2 again number of turns are thousands now we have to define the iron as well so we'll go to material add material click iron number of turns are a uh, relative permeability is 1000 1000 in both direction so we are using isotropic materials so this is iron now click on go to operation select and iron now we have to assign the boundaries select these two outermost boundaries then it's done so let's save it now create a meshing mesh part is done solution solution is completed let's go to the results so you can see all the flux lines are confined within the iron part only so let's see the inductance so you can see inductance here 
it's uh, 1.70 henry so we have missed one thing here so let's go to here problem we have not converted into meter and the uh, depth is uh, around i think uh, let's see here depth is uh, 20 so we can make it 20 so rerun see the results now again go to the coil yes it's 1.34 henry so we have to verify our units as well so this is what we are expecting and now if you want to evaluate inductance through energy storage you can go here select this reason integrate and integrate the energy so magnetic field energy okay so it's 0.672717 so what is energy energy is half li square in our case i is 1 so we have to simply multiply uh, this energy by 2 and we will get uh, the inductance so our inductance will be 1.34 let's say if you are interested to uh, evaluate the flux passing through this uh, so you will you can select uh, this line again and draw a line and now we have to integrate the flux density over this length so go to the integration we have to take the normal component of the b so normal so the flux uh, linkage is 0 0.0013 and uh, average flux density is 3.67 and, and if you want to see what is the current here so you can select current it should come around 1 ampere so you can go to the total current so 1000 ampere sorry yeah we have number of tons 1000 and current is 1 so the total current will come 1000 amperes yeah thank you